Hi, this is another five minute-ish uh, film photography vlog. Um, apologies if you've recently tuned in looking for van life, drones, outdoorsy stuff, but I uh, will be continuing that shortly. In fact, I've been out this morning in the mountains looking at a, uh, checking out a wild camp spot, which I might be going back to tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have a wild camping uh, vlog going up shortly. But yeah, these are quick and easy to do and there's something that interests me film photography and I know it interests a lot of people so I'm going to throw this one at you it's a, a hack for the Lubital. The Lubital is a Soviet camera the original design goes right back to the 1930s but um, this is approximately 1980s made by the Lomo Corporation of course St. Petersburg it's a TTL uh, through the lens a meter camera, um, 120 format. I'm not going to do a review of this camera. It's um, it's a, a quirky cult camera, and I'll I'll probably dedicate a, a short episode to reviewing this and giving some examples. But today it's a hack. Um, I suppose you call it a hack. A hack which involves putting a 35 mil film in a 120 Lubital using these little fellas, little stoppers. You've, you've probably guessed if you haven't come across them before. They basically convert, they come here. They basically convert the film size into a 120, so it'll fit onto your spool. Uh, of course, if you look inside a Lubital or any medium format camera, it's quite different to a 35 mil totally different really you put you put the film in film goes in comes out onto the spindle when it's finished the f when the film is finished you basically have to take out the film here and swap over the the dead spindle as it were and put it in here and put the fresh film in here and so on there's no rewind you don't have a rewind on medium format cameras but none that I've heard of so um, why would you use 35mm film in a 120 camera? Well, it's cheaper for a start. It's a lot cheaper. Um, it's easier to get hold of. It's easier to get developed. Uh, I was working out recently that um, as the NOR was coming rolls of 12 medium format film, it's going to cost you the price of the film. And if you take it somewhere to be developed, it's going to cost about... Uh, 15 pounds, what's that, about 20, 25 dollars. Uh, it's a lot of money, it's about 1 pound 50 per print, so it's ex expensive. Whereas you can get this for, I think the cheapest I've bought film for recently is about, works out, it's about 2 pounds 70 for a roll. And if you do black and white, well I'm just going back to developing my own black and white, it works out a lot cheaper. So the advantage of these is you can do, um, double exposures and triple exposures and another artistic merit to uh, put 35 mil in a, in this camera is the fact that you get the sprocket effect which uh, if you don't know what a sprocket rocket effect is sprocket rockets are the camera made by Lomo Corporation um, you get the sprockets coming out on your print or your negative the sprocket holes and depending on your point of view whether you're into uh you think they're artistic and they enhance the picture or whether you don't like them if you don't like them just crop them but personally i like them and if you want to see an example then have a look at this one yeah i think they're great i like their effect myself so um it's worth adding though that you will need one of these changing bag like a dark room, it's like a mini dark room. You're gonna to have to get your camera inside. This zips up, zip and Velcro. And then you've got a couple of arm holes. Get your arms there. You've gotta do everything in the dark by touch, by feel. So basically your camera's in the bag, in the changing bag. You've got to feel around. And uh, once you get used to it, it's quite easy. Yeah, you, you, once you get to know your way around the Lubital, 
or any medium format camera, it's quite straightforward. And uh, I'll give you an example of how, how it uh, all pans out. So, um, yeah, let's have a look how you do it. You've got your 35mm film, you put your stoppers on, like so. And open up the camera. Right. Right, feed the film in. Pull back the two little retra retaining buttons. Get your film in. Pull it across. This is an old film, so I'm not sacrificing it. Feed it in like so. And there you have it. Wind it on. Close the back. Now, the estimate that you need to turn the um, the winder one and a half turns to advance for each shot. So I've marked mine. So it's got a little dot here. So turn it one and a half turns, and then cock, fire. One and a half turns, and so on. You have to black out this, close it, and then black it out. I've used duct tape so no light gets in. When you come to the end of the film, now you have to imagine that we're in the uh, changing bag, totally in the dark, no light getting in. So open up the camera. Of course, this has all got to be done by feel. You have to pop this retaining button here, and this is quite stiff. The wind on, pop the wind on. Right, as I say, it, it's quite. Ugh. That's it. It's quite stiff. Do the same with the 35 mil film, and then use one of the caps. Of course, you'll feel in the bag when the film has popped. And then just take it out the bag. But the film, I won't take it right back to the... Um, I'll leave that little uh, tag for use another time. But basically, that's it. Just take it into be developed or develop it yourself. By then, you've got a nice set of sprocketed 35mm uh, prints and negatives so you can scan them, print them, do what you like with them but uh, that's basically it so you're going to need 35mm film, a couple of these caps which you can find online dead easy just pop it all together now and that's it 35mm film in a 120 medium format do Lubital 166B. Although of course this would apply to any medium format camera. Okay. Thanks for watching.